Hey kids, you wanna waste some time? You must if you're watching one of my videos. It's time to review some commercials! Now McDonald's latest Halloween fashion. Yes, the commercials of the 80s and 90s are back. Here to give us that joyfully awkward world of colorfully selling out. Oh, what joy these bring. Even the worst ones can manage to summon a smile to a nostalgic mind. I love them, I love them, I love them. And we're gonna look at them again today. So, seeing how one special was called We'll Be Right Back and another one was called After These Messages, this one I'm gonna entitle... Explanation Point. After these messages. After these messages. After these messages. After these messages. We'll be right back. It's here. The E.T. board game. Oh god, at last. Now you can pretend to help E.T. go home. You're safe, E.T. And sometimes you can fly. Really? We're including flying in a board game now? You know, moving from square to square doesn't technically count as flying. Hmm, move two spaces. Woo! I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, oh my god, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, Woo! E.T. phone home. Sometimes you can fly. Wow, indeed, easily impressed little boy. Danger! Sometimes you can hide. Back up to the spaceship! The one that helps E.T. the most wins. And the loser has to play the video game. <laughs> Even though I see no reason to make a board game on E.T., this commercial does manage to capture the magic and drawn out boredom of the original. E.T. board game from Parker Brothers. Also sold separately, the E.T. card game. Oh yeah, I love to see E.T. in a card game. No, he didn't! <laughs> Some assembly required. What's happening in the cabbage patch? Oh, great. More from the world's ugliest pincushions. I see she's having breakfast. Yep, she's very hungry. Uh oh, she's crying real tears. Oh, no shit, you're squeezing her hand, you sadist! Mommy will kiss her kiss her. Wow. Whoa, okay, I guess her shockwave kiss solved everything. Sonic Boom! Stop crying. I'm for mommy. I guess I never got that about girls' toys. Why would you want a baby to cry all the time? I mean, laughing or giggling, okay, that I understand, but crying? That's a royal pain. <laughs> this is just what I've wanted to do ever since I was a little girl. <laughs> and I guess, as is the way of things, you give birth and raise a little girl so you can immediately prepare her from childhood to start doing the same thing. Hey, if I raised a kid who didn't blink and looked like a deflated potato, I don't think I'd win Parent of the Year. Each purchase separately, batteries not included. Morning is your time. I love this commercial because you literally have no idea what it's advertising until they just say it. That's in everything you do. All you know is that whatever it is, it gives you a great lust for life. In everything you do. Grape nuts. Oh, grape nuts, of course! Because when I think of appreciating all the miracles that life has to offer, I think of a cereal that tastes like cardboard and feels like shitting needles. Post grape nut cereal. You know when you've got it good. Yes, clearly this is a woman who has it good. She's on vacation in a log cabin all by herself, no friends, no family, sipping the last drop of the most boring cereal the world has ever created. Clearly this is the closest thing to nuts that she's ever gonna get to touch. Yes, you know. Twelve? Comparing our new Hanes waistband with Fruit of the Loom, trainee. Because this is who you trust with your underwear, right guys? A bunch of aging old lesbians who like to snap your band like it's a prostitute's bra strap. Now pull Fruit of the Loom's band. It's weaker. Of course. Seriously, I'm all for women in the work world, but there isn't one guy in there. It feels a little odd. Here, pull it. Men know our comfort weave waistband fits better. For one thing, it's stronger. Wow, is it? I mean, how would you like it if nothing but men were looking at women's underwear all day? Hey, Dom! Get over here and feel this bra! Why? You gotta Why? feel this bra! Come on, feel this bra, man! Right. Feel really nice! Yeah, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Oh, That's a yeah, pretty yeah. good bra! It's a good bra! Yeah, I like this bra! Really uh, nice bra! Soft and smell! Very nice, very soft, very, very pink! Very pink, yeah! Like, like flowers! Yeah, pretty flowers, like a petunia, you know? I think petunia. I'd say it's more like a buttercup. No, more like a D cup, yeah. Man, I could touch this thing for hours. Hours? Plenty hours! Watch hours! Hours. Well, I guess if the Hanes fits, wear it.
Haynes wins the Battle of the Bayans. <laughs> That's why we put our name on it, kid. Haynes fits better than Fruit of the Loom. We need to get laid. Yeah. yeah. It's new Kool-Aid coolers with 20% juice. Wait a minute, what? It's new Kool-Aid coolers with 20% juice. This is juice that's 20% juice. Well, what the hell's in the rest of it? I think that it's super juicy with 20% juice. That's right, kids, 20% juice. It also includes 50% corn syrup, 20% yellow number five, and 10% God, we don't know what, but the FDA was asleep. Drink it while it's still unidentifiable. Coolers make it cooler. Rock it, roll it. They're just so happy about it, too. Is it really worth celebrating that one-fifth of your product is actually what you say it is? It's a little disturbing. It's like advertising Pepsi, now with 20% soda and 80% rusty nails. Or Quaker Oats, now with 20% oats and 80% Donald Rumsfeld. Oh well. If Chicken McNuggets can make a big deal about having actual white meat chicken in there, I guess anything's worth celebrating. With 20% juice, Kool-Aid coolers make it cooler. I know a boy, his name is Zach. Ah, yes, Zach, our favorite Lego maniac. He's Zach, the Lego maniac. Zach, Zach, he's a Lego maniac. Jack, Jack, he's a Lego maniac. Or was it Jack? Zach, Zach. Wait a minute, is it Jack or Zack? Here it's spelled Zack, but in this commercial, you definitely hear a J. His name is Jack, he's new in town, and lunchtime is when he gets down. Zack, 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 Zack. In fact, is that even the same kid? My god, it's like they just produced these children in the same factory that made child singers. He sent his cosmic fleet to Mars. He's out there cruising with the stars. His mind is lost in outer space. A Lego land basket case. So obviously there was a ton of commercials based on this legendary Lego maniac, but it does make me wonder what this iconic toy god among children went on to do. I mean, where do you think he is right now? His grandma's house is where he stays. It's been 10 years since he's been laid. At 35, his world's a wreck. Collecting unemployment checks. He's still obsessed with Lego C. It gets much talk in therapy. He checks his list off every day of bullies he will blow away. Zach, Zach, he's a psychomaniac. Zach, Zach, he's. Well, we'll still remember you in this timeless commercial, and the most likely unhealthy obsession you probably have. Zack, Zack, he's a Lego maniac. Zack, oh, Zack. Legoland, King's Castle, Airport, Cosmic Fleet Voyager, sold separately from Lego Systems. Ghostbusters! Has anybody noticed that the Ghostbuster toys were some of the most creative toys ever made? I mean, look at these. These were friggin' awesome. See anything weird? <laughs> it's Tombstone Tackle. Dom, a friendly garbage man. Rawr. Hey, you! It's Terror Trash. And as you'd imagine, they were advertised well, too. But I have to admit, there's one part that just rubs me the wrong way. Get him, boys. Ghosts! Funny guy, watch him scream! Am I the only one disturbed that that's possible anal rape? I mean, it's not like we didn't see the ghosts in the movies do something like this. So I find it very unnerving. Funny guy, watch him scream. Hey, my body would do that too if Boo Berry was doing me from all sides. And now, because I don't know any better, the top 10 out of context Ghostbuster lines that go with this commercial. Well, there's something you don't see every day. I have seen shit that'll turn you white. You're not sleeping with it, are you, Ray? You're scaring the straights. He slimed me. I think they're more interested in my epididymis. We get this guy. One best out of context Ghostbuster line to be associated with this commercial is. That's a big Twinkie. Play me off, Paul! So despite the fact that this scene is a little risque, the Ghostbuster toys were some of the best toys out there, and the commercials always showed it. All of it. This is what you do with your spare time. Light bright, light bright, turn on the magic of colored light. Yep, I think 
think every kid at some point had a light bright. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the jingle, maybe it's just a cool idea, but everybody remembers this toy. Make a sign to say goodnight. And of course, every single kid in the entire world did the exact same thing. You made dirty pictures with it. Don't act like you didn't do this. Every little kid did. Boobies, penises, and anything else we thought was naughty made it onto the light bright screen. It was like the kid's version of Craigslist. Nothing but perversion as far as the eye could see. Night bright, light bright, turn on the magic of shining light. My personal favorite is when they used it to spell out words, but it was always nice stuff like happy birthday or here's Susie. Couldn't they use it for more inventive scenarios? Night bright, light bright, make a face to glow at night. Even if we didn't always use it correctly, light bright was, and always will be, a pretty cool toy. And this is a pretty cool commercial to go along with it. Turn on the magic of shining light. Light Bright from Milton Bradley. Paradise with my super golden crisp cereal. Hey, it's the continuing adventures of Sugar Bear. Kids nowadays may not know this, but cereal commercials back then were actually sort of like, well, cereals. They were soap operas with cliffhangers and lingering storylines. Half of the commercials always ended in to be continued. And it was sugar-coated awesomeness! but by far one of the weakest ones has to be with Sugar Bear. Just take a look. Now we're turning the table to a new Tall set sweet wheat on the double Now you got triple trouble. Will Sugar Bear lose his super golden crisp? Well, gee, what the fuck do you think's gonna happen? Golly, could it be like every other commercial where he just eats the goddamn cereal and saves the day? Is that even a possibility? You can solve the mystery with action-packed Sugar Bear flip books. Look at that. They just showed you what happened. They don't give a shit. They know that we know. So might as well just come out and display it. I mean, is it even worth going through the flip book to see what happens? I mean, we all know what the outcome's gonna be. Go to the last page. We all know what it's gonna... Jesus. I don't care. I still love Sugar Bear, and I look forward to him kicking some more ass with his laid-back attitude. But, j Jesus. Ah, uh, Pop-Tarts commercials were always the staple of the 80s and 90s, with its retro fashion and retro music. Real fruit, real hot, 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 hot. And of course, that confusing as hell tagline. Oh, ah, cool, so, cool. hot. so hot, they're cool, so cool, they're hot. What does that mean? How can something be so hot it's cold, or so cold it's hot? It's like saying they're so great, they suck, they suck, so it's great. I never got it. It's like one of those Zen riddles you're never supposed to really figure out. What is so hot it's cool, but it's so cool it's hot? Pop tarts? It's not pop tarts! You can get ready for something wild when you bite into new Kellogg's Pop Tarts. Explosive radiation! God, those things aren't fucking around. That nearly took her head off. Look at that. I think bits of her brain just flew out there. Lindsay, why are you late for class? Pop tarts! For a taste that's better than ever. Introducing Leatherhead! Alright, now we're talking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. Always a favorite. Leatherhead! These are your targets! The friends of the Ninja Turtles! You sucky, your Jimbo! Wait a minute, what was his name? You sucky, your Jimbo! You sucky, your Jimbo? That sounds a little perverted. Leatherhead! Actually, even Leatherhead sounds a little dirty. It sounds like the name of a gimp from an s &M dungeon. Now you can get a pop-up display stand inside specially marked packages of turtle figures. Great for displaying turtles when they're not eating pizza. We just thought we remind you that the turtles ate pizza. As much as I love the turtle toys and the commercials, there was always one thing that drove me nuts. They never got the same voice for Shredder. The voice for Shredder in the commercials was never the same voice as from the show. I mean, they didn't even try. I'll take care of them once and for all. Destroy them! That sounds nothing like the original Shredder. Hey, while they're at it, why don't they go with this voice? They betrayed me, they didn't keep their promise, they tricked me and I don't care anymore. Whoa, better watch the old blood pressure, Shredhead! You're just a little chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. How is your sex life? Great for displaying turtles when they're not eating pizza from Playmates, bitch. Dance club bands do the Barbies. Yes, notice how the Barbie in no way involves bending your arms or legs. All over town, we're into dance club Barbies.
Oh god, even that was too complicated for the doll to do! Look, for the dancing toy, could you allow just a little bit more movement outside of the I'm trying to step on a bug while I have a headache move? Got the answer, it's Dance Club Barbie! Oh, a spider! God, I need aspirin! Where is a Barbie? Now the Barbie Dance Club t-shirt and video with a special appearance by Paula Abdul. Oh, now that would be interesting. Oh, you know, you, you try. I know you're trying so hard, but honey, I just don't think you're Barbie material. Paula, get to reality check. She oh, was no, gold awful. Quiet. She shouldn't be here. Yeah. She should commit suicide. Now. She you're was that me. awful. There's she is just a god awful cry. person. There's I think she should kill cry. herself. You make out? Later, I'm doing Seacrest. <laughs> What's hot? Hot Wheels. What's cool? Pop Tarts? It's not Pop Tarts! Light Speeders. Oh my god, I hated these things. Anyone who had these, you got gypped. Okay, so these cars don't run unless you put these spotlights on them. And there's your problem! Why would you want to do that? What are these solar powered cars? Who thought this up? So that means every time you put the light on it, it moves a centimeter. And you have to have that stupid light on it the whole entire time or it doesn't move. And trust me, it's a lot harder than it looks. You get to move a centimeter, then another centimeter, and then you throw the goddamn thing away. Super tight on curves. Oh, and you got those bridges where it always got stuck. Guess why? Because the fucking light wouldn't shine through. So you always had to push it with your fucking toe or something. God, I hated this toy! Take off with the speed of light. Bullshit. The future is here. Bullshit. Now. Bullshit. Light speed. Bullshit! So hot. So cool. Now you're ripping off Pop-Tarts! Who does that? Batteries not included. Not for use with some cars. You put it together. New from Mattel. Bullshit! Right, Transformers! Now the greats are back as classic pretenders. Wait, what? Wait, they're people now? What, what, now they're robots? They're dinosaurs too? What, what, hey, what, now they're cars? What? Wait, how is this classic? I don't remember this. Wait, why are they people? I don't get that. Who are they? I... Well, that cleared everything up. Buy that! Show and tell time. Another teddy bear? My teddy's name is Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> Can you and I be friends? I haven't forgotten you, critic. <laughs> Why are alphabets fun to eat? Because you can eat critic. <laughs> Here's a fun game to play at home. Count all the phallic symbols. No comment. I'm a skateboarder! I'm a skateboarder! New Pretender Transformers are here! Oh, these things again. Okay, let's see if they explain it any better. After the power, the power of Pretender Transformers! And look, there are evil Decepticon Pretenders, too. Pretender Transformers! Nope! Finally, we have found a cure for diabetes. What?! I can't wait for the day I make that announcement. Cutties! For over 16 years... No, I'm sorry, you lost me. You totally lost me at that fake out. I don't care what you're promoting. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna give five people diabetes right now. Yeah, it's the critic. Inject them! Oh, just a little side project I got going. <laughs> Good God, I might be horrible. Introducing Slim Suit. Just put it on to take weight off. Okay, folks, get ready for the dumbest thing you have ever seen. Who'd ever think I could lose weight while watching TV? Can you believe we're losing weight just by talking on the phone? No, no, I can't. In fact, I'm going to call lying on that. Just put it on to take weight off. It's that easy. No kidding! The Slim Suit can help you lose weight by doing absolutely nothing. What, does it take off like an ounce of weight a week or something? Six hours ago, I was absolutely panicked because this dress was too tight. So I knew to wear my slim suit, and now my dress fits perfectly. Really? Six hours of wearing the slim suit can make you go down an entire dress size. 
That's incredible. I bet all you other idiots out there were trying to exercise or eat right. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> and with amazing slim suit, one size fits all. Yeah, especially for people trying to lose weight like this guy. Most one size will fit most. Yes, everyone can look great in slim suit. Okay, now that's definitely a lie. <laughs> look at this girl. You know she's got a date to the prom. It's simple. The more active you are, the more slim suit works for you. Oh! Oh shit! The more you exercise, the more slim suit will help you lose weight. Yeah, it's pretty subtle that way. It's almost as if you don't need it at all. It's the shape up plan you don't have to hassle with. Just put it on to take it off. Take it easy or take it to the max. Professionals also recommend these magic beans mixed with a placebo brought to you by the Tooth Fairy when you're in Oz. For everyday wear or every night, you can actually wake up weighing less. No harmful pills or starvation diets. And all you had to do was sacrifice your fucking common sense. Because of the incredible demand for slim suits, supplies are limited. Yeah, we only made five of these because we thought only five people would be dumb enough to buy them. You proved us wrong, America. So order now to put slim suit on to take weight off. Your slim suit comes complete with the pounds off program at no extra charge. Wait, wait, wait. What program? You said all we had to do was sit on our asses. What, is there a time scale to sitting on our asses? Slim suit works. I lose weight every time I wear it. Thanks to slim suit, I actually lost weight while sleeping. It truly is the work of an artist. Perhaps a con artist, if you will. Well, folks, I don't think I'm going to top this bit of insanity, so I might as well just call it quits here. Thanks for joining me on my commercial special, and remember, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it. Zack! Zack! He's a psychomaniac! Zack! Zack! He's a psychomaniac! Bitch! That's a big Twinkie.